Wix and Squarespace look almost identical at first glance, but choosing the wrong one can cost you some serious time, money, and design choices down the line. In this video here, I'll break down how these platforms are similar, but also where they really differ, whether you're building a blog or launching a store or just trying to really make a site that doesn't look like everyone else's. Plus, I'll show you one hidden fee that one of these platforms has that could quietly chip away at your profits and why most creators don't catch it until it's too late. So let's start with the basics. So how are Wix and Squarespace really different? Well, on the surface, they seem nearly identical. Both let you build a website without touching a line of code. Right? You get a drag and drop editor, uh, built-in hosting, e-commerce tools, blogging features, and a handful of extras like SEO settings and email marketing. But here's where the difference really kicks in. So Wix is all about freedom. It gives you a blank canvas and says, go for it. You know, you want to move text one pixel to the left, you can. Want to put a photo halfway off the screen, sure, do it. It's perfect if you've got a strong creative vision or if you're the kind of person who loves tweaking every little thing. Now, Squarespace, on the other hand, is more like a smart design assistant. It guides you through a more structured layout system. You could still customize quite a bit, but the platform puts rails in place to help you avoid common design mistakes. You can think of it like a canvas that nudges you towards you know, something that's professional, even if you've never built a site before. So if you're wondering which one gives you more control, the answer is Wix. But if you're looking for a setup that's easier to get right without really overthinking it, Squarespace quietly wins on simplicity and consistency. But how does that control affect the look of your site once it's live? Because design is just one thing, but execution is another. So let's look at the templates of each platform next. So Wix comes out swinging with sheer volume here, over 800 templates across just about every industry. So whether you're starting a personal blog, a local plumbing business, or a digital storefront, there's a layout that'll get you about 80, maybe 90% of the way there before you even touch the editor. And a lot of these templates, they look really good. And sure, a few of them will feel a bit outdated, but overall, Wix gives you more visual variety and niche specific designs than just about any other platform out there. Now that alone can be a huge time saver if you don't want to build from a blank slate which is much harder than it sounds, by the way. Now, if you want to see all the templates yourself, go ahead and click right up here to open a free account with Wix and give them a try. And as a bonus, if you decide to get a paid Wix plan later down the road, that same link will give you the absolute best pricing available. Now, Squarespace, it takes a different route. So instead of throwing hundreds of choices at you, it offers around 150 templates and nearly all of them are beautifully designed. Right? There's a consistent, minimalist style that makes everything look clean and modern right out of the box. But here's why Wix edges out ahead in this category. It gives you more freedom to match your site to your specific brand or kind of the vibe that you're putting across. And once you find a template that fits, you can customize nearly everything about it to make it truly your own. So next, let's see what happens after you choose your template because this is where things really start to get customized. Wix gives you what's basically full creative control. You can drag and drop any element wherever you want on the page, no grids, no rules. It's you know that kind of freedom that makes Wix feel more like a design tool than a traditional website builder. But that flexibility, it can be a double-edged sword, right? If you're new to design, there's a risk of creating a layout that looks great on desktop, but gets messy on mobile. Now you do have to check both versions and make a few adjustments, which can be done with, you know, it, it's pretty simple with a click of a button. But once you get the hang of it, Wix is pretty intuitive. Now Squarespace, they play it safer. It uses a structured grid system that helps keep everything aligned. Their fluid engine does offer more movement and layout options than before, but it still puts boundaries in place to guide the design. And honestly, that can be a good thing, especially if you're, you know, you, you want your site to look polished without overthinking every little layout choice. Now, if you wanna try Squarespace with a free trial, go ahead and click on this link right up here to get started and check that out or just check in the description. That said, here's why Wix, in my opinion, pulls ahead for most users. Once you're comfortable inside the editor, you're not limited by what the system lets you do. You're free to break outside the box and customize every detail and make your site feel like yours, not just another Squarespace layout with different colors. 
Next, let's clear up some of the, I'd say, confusion around search engine optimization or SEO. This is the process of making it easy to get your website found in search engines and Wix and Squarespace, they kind of have different you know, capabilities here. So here's the good news. Both Wix and Squarespace, they have come a long way. And today, they give you all the core SEO tools that you need to get found on Google. So we're talking about you know, custom page titles, meta descriptions, URL slugs, alt text for images, and automatic sitemaps. If that means nothing to you, that's fine, but the tools are there. They also both include SSL certificates and mobile-friendly layouts, which Google now considers essential. Wix offers an SEO setup assistant called SEO Wiz that's designed to walk beginners through the process. And it's simple, but actually pretty effective, especially if you've never done SEO before. Now, Squarespace, they take a more streamlined approach. You won't see a ton of bells and whistles, but everything that you need is built into the platform and it works well. It's clean, automatic, and removes a lot of guesswork. You can optimize your pages, your blog posts, images, and even manage redirects without needing a plugin or an external tool. Neither platform will really hold you back here if you understand the basics of SEO. And in real world results, sites built on Wix and Squarespace, they both rank just fine. So if SEO is a concern, rest easy. Whether you choose Wix or Squarespace, you've got the tools to build a site that really performs. But what if you're not just building a site, but you're building a store, right? Let's look at what happens when you turn on the e-commerce features of either platform. If selling online is part of your plan, whether it's you know, physical products or digital downloads, services, or even subscriptions, both Wix and Squarespace can help you get started fast. Squarespace really shines when it comes to simplicity. Everything is built right into the platform. You can add products, manage inventory, set up shipping, and design beautiful product pages without really needing to install anything extra. It's a super clean experience, and it looks great right out of the gate. Now, Wix, on the other hand, it takes a more flexible and customized approach. You still get all the basics that you'd see on Squarespace, like product listings, payment processing, coupons, shipping tools, all that stuff. But you also get access to a huge app marketplace if you need more advanced features down the road, and that's important. So if you want to integrate you know, print on demand or set up wholesale pricing or run a customer loyalty program, no problem. There are apps to help with that. When it comes to you know, payment options, Wix again offers more choices. Squarespace, they support Stripe, PayPal, and Apple Pay, which is more than enough for most users. But Wix adds additional providers and regional gateways, which can make life much easier if you're trying to sell internationally or have specific payment needs. There's also the question of fees here. So Squarespace, they charge a 2% transaction fee on its most simple basic plan, which only goes away if you upgrade to their core plan. Wix, on the other hand, doesn't charge transaction fees on any of its e-commerce plans, just the standard fees from whatever payment provider that you use. So here's really the bottom line here. If you want something fast and clean, Squarespace, it's great, right? But if you're really thinking long-term, which you kind of should be, and you want room to grow and add features and scale up your store over time, Wix gives you more options to evolve with your business. Now, the truth is not everyone is building a store. Some of you are you know, content creators, coaches, or marketers who just want to share your ideas. So let's talk about blogging here and which platform makes it easier to write and manage your content. If writing and publishing content is really a core part of your site, both platforms can handle this. But they go about it in very different ways. So Squarespace has built a strong foundation for blogging, and it's easy to see why. Their interface is clean, the editor is distraction-free, and organizing content with you know, different categories and tags, it feels intuitive. Wix has made a lot of improvements in this area as well. Their blog editor used to feel pretty clunky, but today it's much more polished. You still get the essentials like categories, tags, scheduled posts, uh, featured images, but you also get more freedom in terms of the layout. If you want to drop you know, custom widgets, uh, embed third-party tools, or change the design of your blog feed entirely, Wix gives you more room to experiment. And that flexibility is where Wix pulls slightly ahead, especially if you're thinking about the long term. And up next, what if you want to expand beyond just the built-in tools, right? Let's look at the apps and integrations of each platform and how they handle third-party functionality. So at some point, you're probably going to want to add more features to your site. 
So whether that's you know live chat or booking appointments, uh, collecting reviews, or integrating with your email marketing platform. And this is where the two platforms really start to separate. So Wix, they have their own app marketplace with over 300 options, including both Wix built tools and third-party apps. If there's something that you want your site to do, there's a good chance that you'll find an app to do it. Squarespace, they take a different approach. So instead of relying on an app store, most of its functionality is built directly into the platform. And that keeps things simpler and more polished, but that also means that you're limited to what's available out of the box. And you can add third-party tools, but it usually involves embedding code manually or using external services like Zapier to bridge the gap, which can be pretty technical. So for creators or business owners who like to tinker, test, and really grow over time, Wix's ecosystem is just more adaptable. Squarespace is more, you know, what you see is what you get, which can be great unless there's functionality that you want that just isn't available. And next here, let's shift gears and talk about something that most people overlook, which is security and maintenance, which is very important. And to be honest, this is where both Wix and Squarespace really shine and where they leave a platform like WordPress in the dust. So if you've ever run a WordPress site, you know the drill, right? You're constantly updating plugins, upgrading themes, uh, worrying about compatibility issues, managing backups, and you're hoping that your security plugin is actually doing its job. You know, if you have one outdated plugin or missed update, and suddenly your site, it's, it's hacked into or, or broken, you know, those things happen. Now Wix and Squarespace, they take that entire problem off your plate. Both platforms include built-in security features from day one. You never have to install a plugin or patch a vulnerability manually. It's just handled. So if peace of mind matters to you, and it should, and you'd rather focus on building your brand than managing software, both platforms are really a win here. And next here, let's talk about support because when you do run into questions, and you will, knowing someone's there to help can really make all the difference. Even if you build the simplest site possible, at some point you're going to hit a question that you can't Google your way through. And when that happens, support becomes a big deal. Wix offers one of the more complete support setups out there. You've got access to live chat, email, and even phone support on the higher tiered plans. Something that's surprisingly rare in this space, by the way. Their help center is also packed with many walkthroughs, FAQs, and video tutorials that cover everything from setting up your first page to integrating third-party tools. Now, Squarespace, they take a slightly different approach here. You get live chat and email support, both of which are responsive and knowledgeable, but they don't offer any phone support regardless. That said, their documentation is some of the cleanest and most well-organized that you'll find. If you're someone who prefers to solve things on your own, Squarespace definitely makes that pretty easy as well. So whether you really want you know, hand-holding or just you know, a solid help center, you're covered with both these platforms, but Wix has the edge if you need that phone support at the higher levels. And up next, the part that everyone wants to know but nobody wants to take the time to calculate is the true pricing. So let's break it down simply so you know exactly what to expect. Now on the surface, Wix and Squarespace look almost identical when it comes to pricing. Their plans start at $16 to $17 a month if you're building a simple site and both include a free custom domain for the first year if you pay annually. So if you're just putting up a portfolio, local business, or service-based site, there's not much really separating them at this level. But once you start selling things, especially digital products or memberships, the details really start to matter, or if you wanna expand and customize things too. Wix's paid plans start at $17 per month for a basic site, and if you wanna sell online, the core plan is $29 per month, and it includes e-commerce tools with no extra transaction fees. You'll still pay the usual payment processor fees, like 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction, but Wix itself doesn't take a cut of your sales. Squarespace starts similarly, $7 a month for a personal site and $8 a month for the business plan, which adds e-commerce. But here's the catch here, and this is the hidden fee that I mentioned in the intro of the video that can really hurt your profits in the long run. On the basic and core plans, Squarespace charges a 7% and 5% transaction fee on every digital product sale on top of the payment processor fees. So your total fee per sale could be between seven and 9% if you're selling digital products, memberships, or subscriptions. 
To eliminate that fee entirely, you'll need to upgrade to the Commerce Advanced Plan for $17 per month, which also gives you access to additional selling tools. At the end of the day, both platforms are beginner friendly and priced closely enough that you're not making a huge mistake either way. But if you're thinking about monetizing your site or plan to really scale beyond the beginning, especially with digital products, Wix gives you a little more breathing room without forcing you into a higher plan just to avoid transaction fees. So now let's pull it all together and figure out which platform is actually the best fit for you. Now, the truth is both of these platforms are solid. You're not going to go wrong with either one of them if you're just getting started. They're both beginner friendly, they're polished, and they're packed with features that make it really easy to launch a website without writing a single line of code. That said, if I had to recommend just one for most people, I'd give the edge to Wix. Why? Well, it comes down to flexibility. Wix gives you more control over how your site looks, how it functions, and how it scales. You're not boxed in by templates. You get access to more apps. You have more pricing tiers to choose from. And when you start selling products, especially digital ones, you don't have to sit there and worry about all the unexpected fees chipping away at your margins. Squarespace is still a great choice, especially if you're someone who values simplicity and aesthetics above all else. But for creators, business owners, and anyone that's really planning to scale over time, Wix just gives you more flexibility and fewer limitations, and that makes it the better long-term bet for most people, in my opinion. And again, you can click right up here to open a free Wix account and give it a try for yourself. And remember that if you do decide to get a paid Wix plan, as I said earlier, that same link will give you the absolute best pricing available. And if you're still not really 100% sure what's right for you, just comment below and tell me your project, and I would be happy to tell you my own recommendation.